Hey guys, welcome back to the Crash Top the Juice channel, and today we're going to be teaching you how to do the Queen Charge Hybrid. Right, guys, so this is a pretty common base you may see in Legends League. Um, as I say, there's split compartments, every Inferno Tower has got their own compartment. And the idea is, is that I want to try and drop a Coco Loon and the Baby Dragon to sit, form one part of the funnel. Do the same up at 12 o'clock for the Queen to charge in. So the point of the attack strategy is it's a Queen charge and that means that the Queen will go in. A Queen Warp will scour the outside. So Formed a nice funnel so far. Queen's working his way in. The wall, breaker, wall breakers go down under rage and as they break into the town hall compartment. Queen takes out the archer tower and in goes the queen. So healers are out of the way, everything looks good. I have to drop another rage in a second because those ice golems are coming in and they really are going to mess stuff up. Poison down for the ice golems and again that slows everything down here. Down goes the Siege Barracks at 3 o'clock, again just to form the other side of the funnel. Pekka and Wizards go out, Pekka, Pekka works up the base, where the Wizards are starting to work down the south of the base. Rage keeps the Queen alive, King comes in just to join up, and then in come the Miners, in come the Hogs, in comes the Warden, in comes the Royal Champ. So. Heel comes down to take some of the damage away from that scatter shot and that Inferno Tower. Internal Time protects them even more. And then freeze for the Inferno Tower. Another heal for the Eagle shots and the Inferno Tower when it comes live. And then another freeze for that scatter shot. No spells left, okay? So no spells left at this point. Queen's still alive, working down that channel, doing some serious work with ability. So is the Royal Champ. So taking on those Tesla farms down at the south. Queen's still going. And does that Royal Champion get the Eagle down? She does. But I think it's just a little bit too much for that Expo there. And let's look at this here. That Expo does not have a lot of health. And I think that's the, the one building that's going to cost me here. So pop the Queen ability. But all a little bit too too little too late. There's one miner working on that expo, but it's not going to be enough. And that gold mine, they're just a few seconds out as well. So pretty good attack, just didn't quite land it. And as I say, I think it's just about taking a little bit too much time over that charge. Okay, so we've got a war attack here against the Indian Warriors. And we've still got the Queen Charge Hybrid. So down goes the Queen, Coco Loon, Healers. We've got another Coco Loon and Baby Dragon working to the north of the Queen. So the aim is here is to try and break in towards the Eagle Artillery with the charge. So that leaves a pretty straight shot through the base with the Miners and Hogs. So it's all looking pretty good so far. I'm going to say a drop at Rage right about now. For the wall break but because the archer tower went down the ai is just not going through the rage and as you say this is basically a wall break fail um desperately throwing wall breakers down trying to hope for something better but nothing happens not a single wall break lands so i've got to make a decision now um a little bit worried about that art air defense there and the healers, so what I do is I drop down the Royal Champion to take that out, so at least the Queen can stay alive. Poison goes down to try and take out the pups 
and uh, the ice golem. And then siege barracks again up from the north of the base at 12 o'clock. Everything's looking pretty good there. And the funnel is set. Down go the miners. So miners are going to work through those two trash buildings and those storages. Down go the hogs. And the warden goes down. So now we've got to hold on to that warden abilities for as long as we can to make sure we get through that giga blast of the town hall. So Hill comes down to protect everything. Town hall is now live. Eternal time. Is it a little bit early? Is it a little bit early? It is. So freeze and heal for the town hall. Giga blast da seriously damages the hogs and miners. Freeze for the scatter shot. And I say if the eternal time was just two or three seconds later, I think we would have had a lot more force going through the center of this base. So miners take out that single inferno tower. The queen is still going, uh, which is pretty incredible, bearing in mind. The charge was a complete fail. All the time that Inferno Tower is hit landing the Warden, the Queen can take down that Inferno Tower, and now the rest is just cleaner. I know we've got only two defensive buildings left, and one of them is the Eagle. But very easily accessible. And it's all looking pretty good. Except for that time clock again. So it's a time fail. It's not good enough again, unfortunately. And I haven't landed it. Am I ever going to land this attack? Seriously. So fresh off of two time fails, I'm now looking to make amends. It's a Town Hall 13. It's not the strongest. You can see the walls. They're Town Hall 10 and 11 walls. I've got a couple of Coco Loons for a, a Yeti blimp now. So I've decided, opted against the Siege Barracks and gone for the blimp. Taking out the single Inferno, and the Wizard Tower, etc. Queen comes down, Coco Loon, and I've got to hold on for the healers now because those Yetis are taking some serious hits. And if I drop the healers, they're going to go straight onto the Yetis. Yetis go down, now come down the healers, and poison to take out the enemy clan castle. An E drag under poison cannot, it can hardly get a shot off ever. So, not the greatest CC these days. So I was hoping that the Queen was going to work in through that gap there into the channel, into the Town Hall. Uh, as you can see by well, the desperate drop-in of a baby dragon and a loon. And unfortunately it doesn't happen. So uh, this is starting to go wrong. And then down goes a rage to take out the enemy king. Big old brute. It's level 65. Not max, but it's level 65. So Queen takes out the Wizard Tower and then a perfect freeze just to save the Queen. And again, looks like I'm going to have to do it again in a second. But the Queen just steps out of range, but unfortunately the freeze is gone. So it's a wasted freeze. And now I've just got to think, right, let's just get the two star. So Miners go straight through the middle. Down comes the Warden and the Royal Champion. And then the hogs as well. Early eternal, eternal time protects it from the giga blasts, protects the hogs from the scatter shots. And then, as I say, hogs have split away from the minor pack. So one hill goes down in the core, a hill goes down on that bomb tower. And actually, this isn't looking too bad. Queen's still alive up top, only just. Just goes down, a rage in the core to try and help take out that single Inferno Tower. So locks onto the Royal Champion, early ability, and takes out the Inferno, and that was it. The Royal Champion done the business there. Without the Royal Champion, I don't think this attack would have been any good. Results looking pretty tidy so far. Queen burns a uh, King burns ability, sorry, to try and make sure everything's going good. And then the rest is just clear up there. So... Does it look like I've got it? Yeah, there's troops for days. Finally, a triple using the Queen Charge Hybrid. 
and it was a mess. It just shows it's a really strong strategy. Okay, so this is a typical Legends League base. Um, not the most imaginative ring base I've ever seen in my life. Obviously, he wants to keep his trees and whatnot and obstacles on the outside. Queen comes down from 6 o'clock. Wall breaks in. Followed by a Coco Loon and the healers. Coco Loon gets really good value there from the Sam and the Red Bomb. From 3 o'clock... Wall break goes in, in goes the king and the siege barracks. So the idea is we're trying to cut a path straight through the middle so the hybrid can work their way straight into the eagle in the town hall. Queen's going to go in and try and take out the enemy royal champ. Now watching it in, in you know, with hindsight and stuff, he's sort of right, drop the hybrid now, now. Drop it now. Now. And finally it goes in. So Miners, Warden, RC, and then Hogs. Heal down in the core, along with the Poison to try and take out the enemy CC. Lava Hound has escaped the Poison, which is not ideal at all. Grand Warden Internal Tome. Gets the Town Hall down and everything survives. Now we've got the enemy queen here doing some work. We've got an expo. We've got the inferno tower. It's all looking a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Freezing the inferno tower twice. Rage to try and get it all down. So we've now got no more abilities and no more spells. So now it's just down to, down to work. What have we got left? We've got a baby dragon doing some work. We've got a one wizard in there doing some work. And we've got some work going on. Is it enough? That is the question. My grand warden is doing some serious work. Managed to take out three point defenses there before finally going down was in red health. We've got Baby Dragon, we've got a full Queen. This looks good. And then, oh, Baby Dragon looks like it's going down, down. But I say, Queen's got enough to finish off here. So that is another triple. Right guys, absolutely de delighted with landing those two attacks at the end. The first two attacks, Weren't too bad. I'd say I probably could have just done with a few extra troops in the Queen Charge build up just to get that done a little bit quicker. And then I say it wouldn't have been a time fail. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. Comment in the box below if you want to see any videos done from the uh, from myself or in, in within one hive. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.